President Ryan, my name is Tiffany Lane, and I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Chemistry in Dr. James Lander's laboratory. And my research is um, looking at the forensic science world and how better to identify what fluids can be on a piece of evidence. So the first step a crime scene investigator needs to do is know what fluid may be there. And that helps out with the case tremendously. So the current methods used to do that are not very specific or sensitive, and I have an assay that I am optimizing and developing, along with building the instrument that will go with it, um, that will do this better for the community. So it's a instrument that will do everything for the scientist, from extracting to telling you, identifying what fluid will be there. Um, and that's my research. It's um, a lot of fun, I really love it, and I have a good time, so thanks. Hey, President Ryan. Uh, I'm Jacob Smith, and I'm in the Harmon Lab in the Chemistry Department at UVA. And in the Harmon Lab, we use electron-rich uh, melt fragments to de-aromatize air mag molecules, so really these stable planar carbon scaffolds with uh, lots of uh, points of potential saturation. Uh, and usually you can't get these things to react, um, but when you bind it up to one of our metals, um, we can do some novel reactivity, and we're hoping that this leads to kind of novel drug design um, for, you know, kind of uh, target synthesis for bioactive uh, small molecules. Uh, thanks very much, and welcome. Cool. Hi, I'm Becca. Hi, I'm Anthony. And we work in the SU laboratory in the chemistry department at UVA. Um, my end and our research is to develop new chemical probes that we can use for cells. That helps us figure out how to target proteins within neurobiology and understand them better so that we can develop safer drugs um, and make sure that they're well vetted before they go to you. And my research is focused on developing small chemical molecules to look at some proteins that haven't been well studied or characterized in hopes that one day these, these molecules might lead to a drug that could help treat people's illnesses.